This past weekend, Temple was host to a fencing tournament that included fencing teams such as NYU, Cornell, Florida, and North Carolina. Intrigued about such an event, Sports Update decided to stop by the women's portion of the tournament to learn some more about the sport that most people outside of fencing know little about. Well, basically there's three weapons. Um, I fence Sabre, there's also foil and epee. There are three different events in fencing, the Sabre, epi, and foil. Each event describes the type of sword used. Like with Epe, uh, the whole body's target, and you hit with the point. Uh, foil, the torso's target, and you also hit with the point. And the weapon I fence, Saber, uh, everything above the waist is a uh, target, and you hit with either the point or the sides of the weapon. It's a slashing weapon. Fencing is a very complex sport with a rule book that is 168 pages long. Mastering the sport takes a lot of hard work and as Cornell head coach Irina Dolchik says, it's more than just a physical sport. Temple, I like Temple team because all of them fighters and they, they show very good results. And I like spirit inside this team. I also try to teach my girls to be strong, convenient and fight for any, any, any chance. Fencing may never be as popular as baseball or football, but with its popularity rising, the matches that took place here at McGonagall Hall may just be a few years away from being broadcast to your television. Reporting for Temple Sports Update, I'm Matt Fine.